Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on how to write the two variable inequalities of graphs. Okay, so uh, the first page is going to be some notes, so please follow along with me. And then there'll be some problems for you to try at the end, and you can see how you did. All right. So take a look at this first um, this first graph here. So we need to come up with the actual uh, two variable inequality that describes this this graph. Okay. So Let's first look for the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is going to be at negative 2. So it's going to be negative 2. And now the slope, we know it's going to be a positive slope because it's going upward. All right. So the slope, let's see, let's find two points. So there's the x-intercept and here's the y-intercept. So the slope is going to be up 2 over 3. So it's going to be 2 thirds x minus 2. But notice we have a broken line, right? So because it's a broken line, it's either going to be greater than or less than. And because above the y-intercept is shaded, it's going to be greater than. So y is going to be greater than 2 thirds x minus 2. All right. Let's try this one over here. Here we have a uh, solid line, okay, and the y-intercept is at 5, so it's going to be 5. And again, let's try to figure out the slope. Um, so for that we need two points. So I have a point here, the y-intercept, and also one here. So we're going to go down, looks like 2 and over 1. So the slope is going to be negative 2x, and then the y-intercept is, is 5. This time we're going to have a solid line. So that means it's going to be either greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And because we're shading above the y-intercept, it's going to be greater than or equal to. So y is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 5. All right. So won't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play and you can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right. Welcome back. Let's how you did with these practice problems. Okay. So the first one, this graph um, is y is greater than 1x minus 2, okay? Now the, the way I got minus 2, that's the y-intercept, and the slope is positive 1 over 1, so 1 to 1 is the slope, that's where the 1x comes from. And because we're graphing above the y-intercept, okay, y is going to be greater, and because it's a broken line, we know it's going to be just a greater than sign. So y is greater than 1x minus 2. All right, now this one over here, we have y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 4. And our y-intercept is at, at 4. And we know that the slope is negative 3 over 1, right? So it's going to be negative 3x plus 4. And because it's a solid line, we know it's going to be uh, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. But because we're shading above the y-intercept, okay, we know it's going to be y is going to be greater than or equal to um, negative 3x plus 4. And there it is. All right. How'd you do?